Hello, this is Swift from Trifle Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce you to another geometry node setup. Um, this is for a block engine. When I first saw it, I thought it was just gears, but it's an actual functioning engine, which was surprising to me. Uh, this is only for, because it uses geometry nodes, it's only for Blender 3.1 and above. And I wish they could have a way we could convert it to uh, something else to use it in other applications, but it's only for 3.1 and above. Um, it'll be at this site. And I'll leave a uh, link of this uh, in the description below this video. But it's by Flex uh, Digital Pottery. And it's quote unquote free, but once again, you can type in the amount that you'd like to give to the developer. No, just to help them out, uh, so I can just pretty much create and make more dot uh, blend files like this. Um, once you've uh, put in the amount here, you just press purchase, and it'll give you two files to download: a zip file and a dot blend file. Now the zip file, it's uh, it's the same as what the dot blend file is. So I don't know why there are two files, but once you've done that, so you've downloaded it onto your system. You can extract the zip file with the WinZip or uh, any um, WinWare would also work. But like I said before, it's the same thing. It's the same .blend file in this one also. Let me double click on that so you can see it. Once you've done that, open up Blender uh, 3.1 or above. And you just navigate to where you've downloaded it. So just go to File, uh, Open. And I've already done all that and these way you can actually access to where this file is the fastest way you can do it is just click in this uh, a web address here this address bar here and press control C and then click in left click in blender press control V enter and it's right there left click open blend file that is right here now the thing that really uh, was impressive to me was actually the note setup. I've never seen a note setup this complex uh, for uh, a generator before. This is just something that's massive. So this is pretty impressive for, for a flex to build something like this from scratch. <clears throat> so I thought that was pretty nice to see this set up here. This is pretty impressive. But let's minimize this window so we can see how this works and what the parameters are. So I'm going to left click in this uh, right click here and join areas right click here also hover your mouse over the uh, line here right click join areas and let's join this together so we can see what this looks like and it already has a uh, texture applied to it let's look see what that looks like let's left click and change our viewport shading and it's all silver chrome so that looks nice but what also impressed me about this is it's already animated press play and it's, it works so I thought that was pretty pretty nice to see something like that. So if you would ever want to, uh, I guess, use this for an animation, probably an, an engine opening up, you can see how it, see it working. Or you want to use this for a, a show and tell, I guess, uh, project to show how an engine works with the pistons, the gears, and all that stuff. You can also do that because this is fully functioning. Um, it, engine here so that's pretty nice let me stop this now your parameters here on your modifier stack here left click and drag this up and it's just pretty straightforward uh, the engine speed you can adjust the engine speed uh, just the piston offset of uh, all four pistons and these are the pistons here so if you adjust the first one it changes the uh, position of the piston and it affects the I don't know what these are called at the top, but it also affects what's at the top too, it's just the ones at the bottom. Same thing with number two, which is over here for some reason, but that's fine. Number three also, can adjust that. And the piston, which is number four, so that's pretty nice. Uh, your gear settings, you can ju adjust those to the gear length, which is at the end here, make them thinner or thicker. And also your twists for your gears, you can adjust those too. Make them more or less as this affects all the gears on all on both ends of the engine block. 
can adjust the gear angle also that's nice your joint settings you can adjust the main gear uh what's this the main gear let me expand this main gear bar let me see what that does okay you can adjust the length of the gear bar and make it longer or shorter uh, the resolution which would be the number of uh, vertices in the bar uh, the more vertices you have in your bar the more divisions in it the smoother it will look but sometimes that depending on your graphics card of your computer or your laptop the longer it will take to render so you can, can you know increase them or decrease them because even when it's turned way up it looks really really smooth and you can turn it down oh sorry about that turn it down here make it a little bit more coarse but like I said before you have to be kind of careful with how many how smooth you want it to be because the higher the resolution the longer it's going to take to render uh, the main gear bar radius you can adjust that to make it thicker thinner you can adjust the springs which would be these uh, mechanism mechanisms at the top of the piston you can uh, adjust the end radius make that kind of thicker or thinner uh, so the start radius which is at the bottom also make it that thicker or thinner uh, you can adjust the rotation make it spiral around more increase that spiral of the springs and the last adjustment you can make it to the valves which I'm assuming would be these you can adjust the height of them and you can adjust the offsets so they're not all starting from the same position so yeah, this is a pretty much straightforward uh, geometry node setup here. It's really nice, a working, functioning engine block. And it's a really nice dot blend file. It's, it's free, so to speak. But once again, you can put some money in there to give to, to the developer. And I, I hope this video was helpful for those who are watching. Thank you guys who have subscribed in the past. Those of you who are subscribing now. And those who will be subscribing in the future. Really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next one. Alright, adios.